everybody. Okay, um, do you remember the Columbia Graffinola I got the other day that actually was, um, uh, I was looking for a new reproducer for, and it had a lot of issues, and everybody got pissed at me for playing a Caruso on it and sounding so bad, and, <laughs> well, I got the new reproducer, but it turns out that somebody soldered the old reproducer on. So I, I, I you know, I, there's nothing I can do with this. Um, however, I did um, mess, it, mess with it a little bit with um, various uh, plumbing uh, gaskets and um, just to remove the vibration that was creating all of that horrible hiss and um, I really got it working pretty decently. Um, aside from that, the turntable is like a little bit too fast. And even with the um, level adjuster here, um, it's still too fast. Um, I, try, I tried working with it with the stroboscope, but it's just a little too fast. And uh, I'm, I've been oiling it and messing with it and seeing if we can't you know, get this to spin at the proper speed so that I can play everything on it. Um, certain things sound okay, like um, old instrumentals, but anything with vocals or spoken word, you can tell it's too fast. So, but I'm going to show you um, the difference in the sound um, of the reproducer. Since I have to work with this one, it's soldered on. Um, with the rubber gaskets that I was able to uh, fit in there. So, I'll show you. You won't be able... I, it really has cut down on the hiss dramatically, so I'm pretty happy right now. Just going to work on the speed now. Isn't that so much better? It really does sound good. I, um, compared to what it sounded like, I'm, I'm very, very happy. Because at least it's listenable now. That, sh that rattling made me crazy. I think that is so much better, and I don't know if you can see here, you might be able to, I pointed out. The reproducer that was soldered on is really in nice shape, it just needed um, a rebuild, and rather than bring this 80 pound player to somebody right now, um, I took this uh, thick um, rubber plumbing gasket, the black one, and really work that in there underneath the tabs and it, it stopped some of the vibrating. Then I put uh, a little bit, a little more of the rubber gasketing over here to stop the vibration that I still had. Um, I don't have any beeswax right now to put at the uh, center of the thing, but this is, uh, this is just fine. Uh, in my opinion, I'm, I am so much happier than before. I, I really could not listen to it the way it was. So, if anybody knows uh, anything about um, what could, what's wrong, why the turntable would spin at a faster speed for whatever reason, uh, maybe the maybe I over maybe I whine too much, or maybe the spring is really just too. I I can't uh, imagine what it is. I have it on the slowest setting now. But uh, you, you can see, actually, you know, it has improved a little bit. But even when, but when I listen to anything with, with a voice, you could tell it's a little fast. Um, 
right now it's on the slowest speed. Now, see, now if I push the speed up, it doesn't seem to change very much, does it? I'm wondering if the speed lever doesn't work. Oh yeah, it did change. I went down a little bit now. See? It's very, very faint. I don't know. It may not be working at all. But this sounds... Uh, actually, this speed doesn't sound so bad right now, but again, it's instrumental. Getting rid of all that hiss is so great. I'm very, very excited about that. And if anybody has any hints and tips for me about this turntable speed, um, I'd be very appreciative. <laughs> um, I'll talk to you all later. Bye. This one sounds really good. Now that one had um, a little bit of vocals in it and it sounded pretty good. So maybe the oil's working its way down in. Maybe I should just keep doing that. Um, I'll keep moving this lever around too to see if, I, if maybe it's just a little bit gunked up or whatever over the years. But I'm pretty happy. I will talk to you all later. Love you all. Bye.